First tip, how to turn off 3D. If you go to the main menu and you go to options and go down to the fourth one, you can turn off 3D. This will save on processing power. And if you're using an older Nintendo 3DS and not the new 3DS, this will help your performance increase. This is a great option that you can only access from the main menu. One thing, do not hit that third option, which is to reset your save data. Tip two, what art did I just learn? Sometimes in the game, you'll have a little bubble over the instructor's head. When this happens, he's generally going to teach you one or more new hunter arts. The problem is, is and I don't know why they did it, the game doesn't tell you exactly what art he just taught you. The default screen here, you want to go to the second option. This will give you your list of arts for the current weapon you have equipped. If you don't see a new though, hit the X button. That will bring up an entire list of every hunter art in the game that you have. Then you can then look for the new button, and that'll tell you what you've just learned. Of course, if you've learned katakana or kanji, that's great. This one happens to be a gunlance skill. Make sure you go through the whole list though, because sometimes you learn more than one at a time. Tip three, how to unequip all decorations. This has been one of my greatest pet peeves in Monster Hunter. If you go to the option here to then equip and unequip decorations, you always had to hunt for all the decorations you wanted to take off and put on new armor. Now just hit the Y button and answer yes to the prompt and it will unequip every decoration you have on all your charms and all your equipment, allowing you to quickly find the ones that you want to do. Thank you Capcom for finally listening to us. And now time for an Easter egg, the Goodbye Cat or Goodbye Palico animation. So if you go over to your Palico board and choose the bottom option, this will allow you to say goodbye to a cat permanently. They've actually took the time to change the animation for Monster Hunter for you. Take a look and enjoy. <laughs> Goodbye, sucker. Another Easter egg, pet the Mufas. If you go up to a Mufa in town and pet it, there is a chance that you can earn an item. With a game that's so strapped on Zenny and items, this is something you might want to do. Plus, being able to nose kiss a Mufa, come on. Priceless. Press the A button at the exclamation mark after the petting the Fenny and it will be happy. Poogie, I think you've met your match. And finally, the locations of the Poogies in each of the villages. So in case you didn't know, all the Poogies still exist and can be your room pets, and here are locations where you might be able to find them. Again, remember to press the A button at the exclamation park after the song. That was Kokoto, now let's check out Yukumo. This one is a little hard to find sometimes, it likes to hide around here. And finally here is Poke Village, the village that brings all the feels for all you Monster Hunter veterans. Hope you enjoyed and until next time, happy hunting.